Today, I'm reviewing the silicone case made by Apple. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. The case is almost perfect, almost. It has a lot of good things and one major problem that I have to address, and it's a bit of a letdown. By the end of the video, I'll give a clear answer if I think the case is worth it or not, and if I think you should buy it. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. It's good to see you again. Let's get into the video. I upgraded to the iPhone 15 Pro Max a few months ago. And with every upgrade for the last few years, I always grab a silicone case made by Apple. And this year was no different. I decided to go with the clay colorway and I think it goes really nice with the natural titanium that I have on my 15 Pro Max. And so far, I'm really happy with the color that I chose. It does come in other colors, Sherbert, Cypress, Winter Blue, Storm Blue, Guava, Light Pink, and Black. Now onto the design. You get a power button, volume up and down, and the all new action button has its own button. The bottom where the USB-C port is and speakers are have a cutout, and it's totally closed so it gives that extra protection. And there's a raised camera lip so the camera also has that extra protection. On the back of the case, you also get the Apple logo, which I think looks really cool. And the inside material is a soft microfiber material. The phone fits nice and snug into the case. And I honestly think it looks incredible and it's one of my favorite looking cases out there. It's also MagSafe compatible, which is really important for me. And the MagSafe is very strong. So if you're a big user of MagSafe accessories, there's nothing to worry about. It shouldn't fall off with using this case. Now, it's clear that the case looks good and is aesthetically pleasing, but how does it feel? And I would say pretty good. In hand, it can feel a little bit bulky, especially if you've used a thin case or you're just used to not using a case, but it's not too thick and it feels really good in hand. And it's very nice to hold. It has a soft finish and is using a silky silicone material, but it doesn't feel too slippery. It might for the first few days, but you get used to the grip and it's no problem. All in all, when it comes to look and feel, this has gotta be one of the best cases. One thing I do have to mention though is whenever you pull it in and out of your pocket, if your pocket happens to have a lot of lint in it, it is going to be a lint magnet. It's a bit annoying to clean, but I don't wanna leave that out cause it is kind of annoying. The price is also a bit annoying. It's priced at $49 and it's not just for the 15 Pro Max. You can get all of these colors in the 15, the 15 Plus and the 15 Pro as well. I would feel better if Apple started it at like, let's say 39. It just feels like Apple's really pushing it and silicone really can't be that expensive. The next part, I'm going to tackle two areas. Does it protect your phone and is it going to last? And they kind of go hand in hand because the amount of times that you drop this case will determine its longevity over time. And I'll explain what I mean. The case is definitely going to protect your phone from normal drops and falls. Like let's say you're walking and you drop it on a sidewalk. Is that going to protect your phone? And I would say yes. You probably want to get a screen protector on, which I'm actually going to do a video on this matte screen protector that I have. But if you drop it, it should protect your phone. The problem is when you drop it, the case can get wrecked. For example, this case right here is on my iPhone 13 Pro and I've had it for over 18 months. There's no scratches or even wear really, just around the MagSafe area and I think the case is holding up fairly good. But this case was on my 14 Pro and I recall dropping it. This is the storm blue color. I dropped it one day didn't fall very far, but you can see a huge chip in the silicone material. And so if you do that a few times, after a while, the case is gonna be destroyed. There's also been people online that I've communicated with on X or Instagram, and they've had issues where the silicone just tends to tear and peel without really any reason. And I think that's a bit odd. And so long-term, I don't really think it's going to hold up great. And this iPhone 11 case here, my wife used it for years and you can see it is absolutely destroyed. 
I know a lot of people are like myself, they like to upgrade their phone every year and they don't mind buying a new case every year, but some people want to keep the same case with the same phone for years. If you're one of those people, this might not be the case for you. Overall though, I really do enjoy using the silicone case. I like the vibrant colors, especially when Apple releases their spring colors. I think the case looks very nice as well and feels really good in hand. The MagSafe is really strong and it actually does protect your iPhone. But $49, like I said, is a bit much. So if you can find it on discount, I would go with that. The lint can be a bit annoying and it's obviously a problem when it comes to longevity and it really depends on how you take care of it. If you're someone that drops your phone a lot, you might wanna consider a more durable case because the durability is a little bit questionable. You might wanna consider checking out a couple other cases as well, unless you're sold on this case. And if you're sold, I would consider also trying to find it at a discounted price because I still feel like $49 is just too much. But for me, I like the case, I still buy them every year, and I know I'm not like most people, but that's just me. So if you're looking for me to tell you to get it, only get it if you can find it on discount, and also just be aware, hey, it could break down pretty easily. I did actually review the fine woven case that Apple made this year, as well as the clear case. So go ahead and check my reviews out on those. I'll leave those at the end of the video. Also, if you have the silicone case, share your experience with us in the comments below. If you like this kind of video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We're almost to 25K and I think we can do it before the end of the year. Thanks for watching everyone. As always, God bless and I will see you on the next video.